as human beings, most of us open a fridge and see it full of food. I think it's very challenging for our communities across the country to embrace when we talk about food insecurity. I think every child deserves an opportunity to get educated. If you eat healthy right from the word go, you potentially are going to lead a lot healthier life into the future. When I actually came into the food bank, there would be nothing but cookies, pastries, breads, processed foods. I would walk around and have an internal conversation that um, I would not feed this food to my child. School started really slowing down in their summer programs. So what that meant for a lot of children was if there was no summer school, that meant there was no meals. And so we started going on a process of healthy food banking. I don't like broccoli. Give us your name. Alexi Catherine Gifratis. What do you like doing here? Um, helping uh, people get healthy. Well, she's going to start kindergarten. She's five years old. Uh, to give her fresh food, you know, it's real important. We're glad that this program's in effect. I don't know what we do without it. Everything helps, and uh, every extra little thing helps, you know, for us right now. I've heard it from multiple parents. This is so important because many of our parents, like, they work during the school months, but not in the summer. First in the morning, I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is a lot of food. I don't know, we might have to take the extra food to church. But it was gone, like, within minutes. Well, I'm a retired machine operator. My wife, she does hotel work. We have a son, 11 years old, Arturo, and he's in the fifth grade here at Seaview. When you go to the grocery store, there isn't a lot of fruits and vegetables. It's kind of tough to come by. Having this eight-week program with our Kids Summer Club is truly, truly important. Nutrition is important in the development of children because it helps them with their education. We take fresh produce out to those kids and we pull up our truck wherever it may be, wherever there's a need. And it's something that alleviates that stress of the parents. A lot of people sometimes don't want people to know that they're getting this help. A lot of people have an idea that it's for poor people, but it's not. It's for your average person that maybe they're going through some financial hardships. A lot of families are working class poor. Just because they need help does not mean that they are worthless or lazy. They are doing what they can to provide for their families. I'm not talking starvation. I'm talking about people making very hard decisions, whether to pay for utilities or food, whether to pay for rent or food. If we were really going to take a stand, we have to start thinking about the next generation. What do you want to do when you grow up? Nurse, and then a rock star too. If you need something, just come over here and get it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just the feeling that you get just from helping people out, and then they get that same feeling back. We need to make it a conversation that's not an embarrassing conversation. It's the social and emotional foundation that we're playing a role in that I believe will ultimately end up with those children not ending up on my lineup because we're setting them up to be able to make better choices.